web. And this binding does something important. It makes the net more resistant to being broken down by enzymes that bacteria release. Ah, so the bacteria try to cut the net. Exactly. Some bacteria, like Staphylococcus aureus, produce enzymes called nucleases, specifically to degrade DNA. LL37 binding to the net DNA helps shield it, reinforces the structure. Makes it a tougher trap. A more effective, more persistent trap, yes. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting, because the videos hinted this could be a double-edged sword. How? Yes, exactly. While these LL37-coated nets are great for trapping microbes, the trouble starts if these nets aren't cleared away properly after the infection is dealt with. They linger too long. They linger too long, and the persistent presence of these LL37 DNA complexes has now been linked to a whole host of diseases. Like what? Well, the list is growing. Things like cancer, chronic sinus problems, autoimmune diseases like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, even COVID-19 complications.